Nantucket is an island paradise we've all seen on TV and in our social feeds. Its history and prestige among the rich and famous makes sense since it's challenging to find a downside to summering here. But if you happen to make the trek for a short visit, what are the must-do activities? In this episode, we're going to show you a few of our favorites. <laughs> Two years ago, we decided it was time for my ad agency to abandon the in-person five-day work week. So we 86 our office and work hours, allowing our own family of five to start traveling almost constantly. We now work, school, and explore in a new place every week. From our own mountain and beach homes to exotic villas, resorts, and yachts around the world. As we experience and support diverse cultures, we hope to inspire more families to design a life of freedom and adventure. White Elephant is right behind us and that is probably the most iconic resort in Nantucket. We are only a few minutes walk from our Inspirado Cottage. And now we're gonna take you on a little tour of some of the top things that you can do on the island, some of the more iconic experiences. But the first thing we need to do is grab our kids from this playground and head out. Yes. All right, we're gonna go. First, I wanna point out these trees. It feels like it's snowing pink petals. But these beautiful cherry trees aren't the only iconic sight on the island. Taking a short stroll in almost any direction will expose you to Nantucket's trademark cedar siding architecture, the red roof construction of certain government buildings, the chunky seashell beaches that line the ocean, and of course, the numerous lighthouses that seem to take you back in time. Like when Herman Melville traveled here in 1852, the year after he published his famous novel. We're here at Brant Point Lighthouse. It was established in 1746. That's but it was older than this country. <laughs> and it was uh, automated in 1965. So that's when it went from requiring a person in there to being able to run on its own, yeah? And it is still in operation today. Let's see if anybody's here. I wonder if it's unlocked. Nah, it's locked. Aww. Nobody's home. Many of the homes on this beach can cost upwards of 15 million and only be open and occupied by their owners for a matter of a few weeks during the summer. This sprawling home, for example, is only now being prepped for this season's visits. And as unfortunate as this reality is, it reflects the extreme seasonality of the island itself, which shuts down so completely during the off season that even locals find it challenging to shop for basic supplies and dining options without heading to the mainland. So on Brant Point, some of the private homes that we have here, like the one behind me, are kind of quintessential Nantucket, exactly what you would probably envision when you're talking about Nantucket homes. Nice sprawling lawn right overlooking the ocean, the sand, the beach, all of that good stuff. But let's head over this way. I want to show you something pretty interesting about that Nantucket style home. So this is that Nantucket style that we were talking about earlier, where it's that gray shingle wood siding on everything out here. But what's interesting is that's not what it looks like when you first put it on the side of a house. This is. So when you first put that siding on there, it's actually natural wood color, and it's only over time that the aging process from rain and sun and the elements changes it into that iconic gray shingle siding. But it's really interesting to see what it looks like brand new. Nantucket's a super interesting town in terms of the density of certain types of businesses that they have here. One example is bicycle shops, where right across the street here we have Nantucket Bike Shop, Nantucket Bike Shop 2, Young's Bicycle Shop, and we just passed Cook's Bicycle Shop. So they have more bicycle shops here per capita than any place I've ever seen. But that's not the only thing that's very densely present here. The other thing is the culinary scene. I have to say, I've never seen a town that has so many amazing restaurants of all types, casual, upscale, everything you could possibly want within about 10 square blocks. Hey kiddos, you want to go to the whaling museum up here? Yeah! All right, so we can't go in quite yet. So I am putting in our credit card information. It's actually very affordable for the two adults and the two kids. It's $30 and we can spend, I think, as much time as we want to in there. The Nantucket Whaling Museum is a tribute to the island's simultaneously glorious and vile past as the one-time whaling capital of the world. That was until it went belly up in 1869. Today, the museum features 11 galleries with thousands of artifacts and exhibits pertaining to Nantucket life, art, and culture, including a 46-foot-long sperm whale skeleton that's suspended from the ceiling and detailed in a short film in the museum's Whale Hunt Theater. Kids did such a good job in the museum. We're gonna get them some ice cream. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you, you too. Great, cool. What else do we 
peanut butter cup. Mm. I got chocolate Oreo. Oreo here is so good. All right, and Cole got their homemade, freshly made waffle cone. Good morning. We're going back to our favorite spot in the world, which is on the water, anywhere in the world. So we're gonna try sailing in Nantucket. This time we're gonna do it on a very old ship. It's called Endeavor, and I think it's the very first sailboat charter on the island of Nantucket. And our captain's gonna be Captain Jim, and he's like, knows the island inside and out. Obviously outside mostly, because that's where we're gonna be sailing. But before we go anywhere, our kids need to get some schoolwork done. Just one course today. And I need to get a workout in. Get it done, baby. Do your push-ups. Follow us on Instagram to see Phil do 100 push-ups in 100 cities. Time to get our sea legs back. I wonder if it's gonna be tricky to do so. I can't wait to get back on the water. It's been, what, two weeks since we've been on a boat? Two whole weeks. Well, this is gonna be a very different experience because of the type of boat. What's it called, a schoon? Schooner? A schooner. S schooner? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I was reading up on this and it turns out Jim built this boat on his own. He bought the hull and the deck and the engine from somebody and then built the entire thing out. And he said he specifically chose this design, this type of boat or this boat because it was gonna be really good for charters. Number one. And Jim's the captain? Jim's the captain sure. and the owner. And he actually didn't grow up on Nantucket. He grew up in Massachusetts and that's where he first built and used that boat for charters and struggled to find people who wanted to charter it. And then he and I think some family or friends came out to Nantucket for a couple of days and had somebody literally walk up to him on the dock and say, I'll pay you more than what you get for a weekly charter up in Massachusetts just to take me and my friends out for a couple of hours. Cool. And he's, yeah, his, I think his brother or brother-in-law was with him at the time. He's like, dude, this is where you need to be. So the rest is history. I think he's been out here for decades now, something in the neighborhood of 20,000 sails. Now it's gonna be 20,001. <laughs> Endeavor sailing, we're in the right spot. I knew it was the boat. You guys, oh, yeah. Are you guys here for the sail? We, we are here for the sail. Lockwood? We are the Lockwood. Are you so are you Jim? That's I'm Jim. Jim, how you doing? Jim, it's nice to meet you. Yep. Okay, yep. This is, this is, how you doing Jim, I'm Phil. How you doing? Hi, how you doing? Good, good. That's I'm James. James, James. Yeah. how you doing? How you doing? Phil? Are you ready kids? Yeah. Ready, ready? Go. Let's go, get I'm on ready the boat. Go. Don't fall in though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, can we take our shoes off? No, shoes off. I just, I fall on my face if I'm running around on the boat with shoes on. Are you ready? They help. Kids, since you know about sailing, you can help James, okay? Perfect day to be on the water. And so does that water. Good, James! Keep going, young man! Good job! Way to go, you got a rope burn? No, I did, oh. but I thought I did. I am Jim, we were reading in the website all the stuff we could about the boat. So, there, is there any fiberglass on this one, or does it just look like it? This fiberglass hull and deck. Fiberglass hull and deck. Yeah. And then... The rest of the top would be working stuff on it. I did myself about 45 years ago. Hour and a half. Long time ago. How many years were you doing charters out of Massachusetts before you came to Nantucket? Maybe eight years. Okay. And that was how long ago then? Well, I built the boat 45 years ago. Almost 40 years. 39 years. Put all your weight on it. You want to go do one on your own, young lady? There's one up there you can do on your own if you want. Brooklyn, any interest? Yeah, that's a good thing to hold on to. No? No. <laughs> Some of us like to just sit and enjoy the ride, but Cole loves the hard work involved in sailing, so he's, uh, he's using some muscle here. I love how much they're learning, though. Uh, Cole's learning about sailing right now, and that's something you can't really get a grasp on in a book. You have to be trying it in real life. Put your hands on the wheel, though. Okay, don't, yeah. You may notice that we're one kid short on this trip, and that's because Reagan decided she wanted to stay back home in Denver with her mom and finish in-person school for her eighth grade year. She gets to choose some of these trips, whether or not she goes along, and then sometimes her mom's just gonna have her, so in those cases, we're, we're one short, so 
We're missing her and can't wait to get back to see her. But in the meantime, we're having a blast on this trip. This is all Nantucket Sound right here, and about 30 miles that way is Hyannisport. Martha Vineyard's that way, about 28 miles. Martha's Vineyard. That's what I said, right? Martha Vineyard. Martha's Vineyard is that way, about 28 miles. How long does it take to sail from here to uh, like Martha's Vineyard? Day like today, in this boat, six hours. Six, six hours. hours. It's that way, about 30 miles. Have you ever taken this boat out um, and just like lived on it at sea for I, more than a, I, a night? I, I've been as far south as Key West. Key West? That took four weeks, about. Four weeks? As much as we'd like to stay out here all day and just listen to Captain Jim teach us absolutely everything about Nantucket, the guy's like a walking encyclopedia. Yeah, everything from pilot, pirates to like the Native American roots to the rules about all of the architecture here and the approvals that you have to get when you're building your house on the exterior designs, all that shingle stuff that we were talking about. Fascinating. But it's time to head back in here and I think we're gonna go grab some lunch. Taking the sails down and heading back to the marina. If you look on the other street, I said, okay. you have a good time. You too, you young man. Fun. Young man, well, I'll see you guys. You have a good time, okay? I'll see you later. <laughs> well, Thanks there you go. Thanks for the sailing and bye bye. Too. <laughs> you betcha. Have fun now. Have a good time and enjoy your day, okay? We will. Take care. And have fun. Beautiful day. Sun was shining. Wind was blowing, but man, it was cold. <laughs> I didn't think it was that cold. Oh my gosh, my gooseies were huge <laughs> all on my legs. So depending on the time of year though, like right now, definitely would be smart to maybe wear some pants, definitely have a jacket. My hands got a little, little crispy. I lost the feeling in this thumb. You did. <laughs> I was so cold, my hands were, well, yeah. It was still great. Maybe bring a blanket or something, but that was a really good way to just spend a couple of hours and learn a whole lot about Nantucket. So yes. that was an excellent it was experience. so educational. Captain Jim knows everything about the island. So we learned a lot from him and we're gonna try to explore some of the things that we learned. This has been a fantastic trip. I really like the lodging. That house is incredible. Yes. But I would say one of my favorite parts of it is the fact that we got it for like four nights for the price of one because of our Inspirado membership. Yes, especially considering how adorable and amazing great location our cottage was. So for more information on that program, feel free to go to followabc.com slash pass and see how we pay a flat monthly fee for unlimited travel to places like this constantly. Constantly. So also subscribe so you can see our next adventure. Two years ago, we decided it was time for my ad agency to abandon the in-person five-day work week. So we 86 would our office and work hours, allowing our own family of five to start traveling almost constantly. We now work, school, and explore in a new place every week, from our own mountain and beach homes to exotic villas, resorts, and yachts around the world. As we experience and support diverse cultures, we hope to inspire more families to design a life of freedom and adventure. Because there's a new American dream. It's one that's void of templated expectations, templated career paths, templated education, templated families, templated homes, and templated lives. Freedom's no longer American tagline. It's just the new global way of life. Every day that you spend doing something that doesn't fulfill you to your core, you're living your life on pause. You're deferring genuine family time with no guarantee that there will be a tomorrow or a someday. Some people follow that mentality their entire lives. We've chosen to never live that way again. We appreciate you following our journey. The more our channel grows, the more time we can spend traveling to more locations, contributing to these cultures, highlighting local businesses, and sharing inspiring stories from these communities. So please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing so that you can stick with us for the long haul.